started out as a coach, there was another coach in my region that was training quite a few athletes. And the guy was learned mostly uh, like typical bodybuilding kind of training. And when he started wanting to incorporate high performance work like the Olympic lifts, well, he would do them the same way he would do a training program for bodybuilders. So for example, when you're building a program for bodybuilders, you're training chest, you're going to have four exercises. Let's say bench press, four sets of 10. Then incline press, four sets of 10. Then uh, maybe decline press or dips, four sets of 10. Then, then pec deck, four sets of Basically, each muscle group was trained with a wide number, a lar large number of exercises because you need to fatigue the muscle from all various angles to get all those fibers. Now, if you compare that to performance training, normally you would have fewer exercises, more sets per exercise, focusing mostly on big movement patterns. Now, when that coach started using more high performance method, the Olympic lifts, for example, well, his workouts looked like uh, you started with power snatch and it was, or power clean, then it was uh, hang clean, then it was four sets of clean pull, and it was four sets of power clean from hang. And you have four variations of power clean, which does not make sense. Now, here's the point of the capsule. You don't use a hammer the same way as we use a saw. A power clean cannot be trained the same way as a deadlift. A deadlift should not be trained the same way as a bench press. A bench press should not be trained the same way as a curl, meaning sets, reps, training methods, and how far you go close to failure, for example. Like on a biceps curl, I recommend always going to failure or close to it because it's a low-cost exercise. There's very little neurological fatigue from doing a bicep curl. So going to failure, which increases the stress on the nervous system, will not get you overboard. But if I'm trying to go to failure on a deadlift, then I'm creating a lot more neurological stress than not going to failure. Even worse, if I go to failure on a power snatch, then the neurological stress is even higher. So you can't use the same level of intensity uh, on all of these type of exercises. Same thing on when it comes to progression. Like on the military, or power clean, for example, adding five pounds per week might be a lot of weight, but five pounds on a deadlift is nothing. Five pounds on a curl is a high weight. So you cannot use the same approach with all of these methods. Like when you are using bodybuilding movement, isolation exercise. Progressing in weight is actually not that important. What you want to do is create as much muscle fatigue as possible. But when I'm training a deadlift, a power clean, a bench press, the goal is to have an increase in performance. Progressive overload is the name of the game. With isolation work, it's muscle fatigue. That is the most important. It changes the mindset. As long as you go to failure on a curl, it's going to work, even if you did not add five pounds this week. But to make the most out of the big lift, you should strive to, over time, be stronger and stronger and stronger. You also want to preserve your nervous energy. I always say that I don't remember ever missing a squat. I don't remember dropping a squat. I don't remember missing a bench. I mean, my best bench press was 445. My best back squat was 600. My best front squat was 485. And I don't remember ever missing a lift on those movements because I did not train at to a level that form started breaking down. On those big lifts, that just creates unnecessary stress that makes it much harder for the nervous system to recover. But going to failure on a curl, or a pull down or, or a chest press machine, that's fine because it does not lead to a CNS fatigue. So you should always look at the type of exercise and how you should do them. You don't train a clean like you do a bench press. Everything is different. So the same progression model will not work for each type either.